Hi, we're Victoria and Craig. Over two years ago, we bought a used RV and spent six weeks renovating to make it our tiny home on wheels. And if you're new around here, we've been spending the winter in Baja California Sur, boondocking on some of the most beautiful beaches we've ever seen. But our time down here in Mexico hasn't been perfect. We've literally been out here for hours. Stop, 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 stop. Our back jack stand is just missing. There's like this crack in the side of our RV. This week, we've been living it up in La Paz, Baja California Sur's capital city. And today, we're taking a tiny boat over to a protected island to visit a colony of sea lions. And if you've been enjoying our journey through the Baja Peninsula, please consider hitting that subscribe button because it really helps our channel grow. I am so excited about our adventure today. We are going to Espiritu Santo Island, which actually means Holy Spirit Island. It's an island that you can only visit via boat, and so we paid to take a tour with this company, and we're gonna get to snorkel with sea lions. And I honestly just couldn't be more excited because I thought sea lions were mean, but apparently they're nice enough to snorkel with here. So we're gonna get to snorkel with sea lions, snorkel along these reefs, visit this beach that you can only access via boat, and I think it's just gonna be so, so pretty. But we're gonna go get coffee first, of course, which you of probably course. already know. And then we go ride sea lions. <laughs> Can no. you imagine if you were riding a sea lion? I'll 100% try. We're gonna get kicked out of the tour. They don't let you, they don't let you. You can ride dolphins on dolphins. I don't tours. think it's riding dolphins, maybe like cutting them. Something. I don't know, let's go get coffee. This RV park has a little cafe like right across from our RV, which is kind of dangerous, to be honest. Get in there. What about towels? No. I can fit. Where's it? You got the thickest towel you could find. I don't know. Just put it in the front or something. There ain't no room there either. Why don't we get the smallest dang hiking backpack we can find? I don't know. Maybe we should put your wetsuit in a separate thing. Nonsense. Nonsense. Is there more stuff that goes in here? No. Good. I think. That's not fitting. It is. <laughs> you don't know nothing. You're gonna break it. You're gonna break it. really pulling on these threads. Well, I'm just, there you go. Okay, I guess we're not bringing the snorkels. Well, what snorkels? Snorkel masks. The masks? Wow. <laughs> Do they have to go in? I miss him already. And Leland. Leland. Leland's independent, bud. clamshell with the big pearl which is where we're at I don't know who we're meeting here or what they look like or if they're gonna have a sign or something but we're here on time hopefully we can find our tour guide we found our group I got my wetsuit that I rented for 150 pesos Craig brought his wetsuit as you saw in the backpack and I guess it's gonna change on the boat I don't know what are you doing 
Probably just put it on while we're on the boat on the way over. That should be a spectacle to see. Mine's easy. <laughs> Is it? Oh. We have to clean our feet so that we don't bring any, I guess, bad things to the island. Our journey began with a boat ride from La Paz, the capital of Baja California Sur, to Isla Espiritu Santo. This is a pretty common type of boat used for tours down here in Mexico. It isn't huge, but there's room for all of us, and would you believe there's even a bathroom on board in the middle of this boat? As we approached the island, we couldn't believe how beautiful the rugged coastline and the crystal clear waters were. We even made a stop to see the famous mushroom rock, which our tour guide told us actually fell down at one point and they rebuilt it because it was such a famous attraction. Isla Espiritu Santo has a rich history that dates back over 9,000 years. The island was first inhabited by indigenous peoples and later the island was visited by Spanish explorers who named it Holy Spirit Island after a religious festival that was being celebrated at the time. We even got to see the remains of the world's first pearl oyster farm, which was left behind by Don Gaston Vives from the 19th century. To farm these oysters uh, by putting inside of them from five to seven silicon balls. So that way, instead of having just one uh, pearl uh, from, from their oyster, they had like from five to seven. Isla Espiritu Santo is now part of a national park and is a protected area where you'll find a variety of wildlife including sea lions, dolphins, and over 300 species of fish. On land, you'll find plenty of wildlife too, like these hundreds of frigate birds we got to see nesting and flying around this rocky part of the island. As we continued towards the sea lion colony, the waves actually got really big, which you can never really tell on camera, and it got pretty bumpy. And then finally, we got to the sea lion. Colonies, some are for resting and some are for reproduct reproductive colonies. And this one is a reproductive colony. The number of individuals that we have here is about 670 individuals. Uh, scientists count them every year and this number is growing. So it's uh, higher than last year. So it's like a good sign that it's a really nice place for them and we are uh, making a good effort in preserving this place. Uh, and this species is called the California sea lion. Hmm. So do you know how sea lions are different from other seals? Do you know the difference? Sea lions are eared seals. So they have external ears. While other seals are well, earless seals, uh, they just have a little hole, which is the auditive canal. Uh, but these ones are uh, known for their external ears. And also because they have uh, long front flippers. With their flippers, they can swim and they can also walk through the rocks and climb. I hope you don't get seasick. <laughs> but uh, we, we will be more uh, stable there. We've arrived at the location with no, the sea lions. We've got flippers and snorkels and we're about to be getting it. I'm so excited. Ready to go. What about you? Yep.
so we've reached the second half of our trip. They brought us to this island that has a lot of endangered species of plants and animals and, and different things like that. But it is very crowded with people. I think every tour brings people here. So, But we're gonna eat lunch and then go swimming and explore. So we're getting ready to go. Hopefully the water's a little bit calmer. It was kind of rough coming over here. But it looks better now. Our trip to Espiritu Santo Island was really so much fun. I loved getting to see those sea lions playing and swimming around. Highly recommend taking a tour over there if you're ever in the La Paz area, but be sure to hit the subscribe button to find out what Craig eats that makes him make this face.